it is yet another day that the Lord has given us that we may be in his presence. I just want to go straight to the word of God, which will come from the book of Colossians, chapter number 3, uh, verse 1 through 7. Here I read. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 5. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Verse 7. In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. Praise the name of the Lord. My topic today is the key to Christian life. The key to Christian life. And the way to Christian life is to allow Jesus to live his life in and through us. I say it again. The way to Christian life is to allow Jesus to live life in and through us. Amen. The Bible is very clearly clear that we were once dead because of our sins, because of our evil doings. But when we received Christ in our heart, Hallelujah. We were raised from the dead and now we live because Christ lives. Amen. Amen. You live because Christ lives. And having confessed our sins through the death of Jesus Christ, we are no longer dead in sin. Hallelujah. And having known that, it is good for you and for me to allow Christ live in us, hallelujah, and work through you and me. Hallelujah. Yes, you see, it is one thing to say that I am saved, and it, it is another thing to allow Christ Reign in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is another thing to allow Christ be the one who is guiding your steps, your minds, your thoughts, your everything that you do, you do according to the guidance of Christ Jesus. Because you have allowed him to dwell in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. As we say the key to Christian life is to under, understand that Christ lives in and through you. You also have to understand. Amen. Amen. Number one, you allow Christ to live in you and to work through you and also, you understand 
that Christ is living in you. When you don't understand that Christ is in you, that's when you get yourself doing other things which are not pleasing unto the Lord. Hallelujah. But when we allow and we understand that Christ is living in me, hallelujah, I walk according to his will. I do anything that I do according to his will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he warned me of what I should not do, I just bow down and obey his word. Hallelujah. Because it is no longer me, but Christ who is in me. It is no longer me, but Christ, hallelujah, who has his in inhabitant in my heart. Say amen. amen. So it is so important for you and me to allow Christ live in you and do his things through you. Amen. This morning, we were taught on how, how to be a witness of the word of God. And as we witness, it is Christ who is in you witnessing to the people who have not received him as their savior. Amen. And th for that reason, it is good that to know, we know, there is no power of witnessing Christ if we don't allow Christ to live in us. I remember uh, in the times of apostles or disciples, when they were in the town of Antioch, the people who saw them, the people who listened to them, hallelujah, they saw Christ in him, in them, and they, from that perspective, they called them Christians. That's where the word Christian came from. Hallelujah. Because those people who were, were living as Christ, they had received Christ, they allowed Christ to reign their lives, they, were, they allowed Christ to be in them, and they well understood that Christ is in us. And for that reason, it is not we now, but Christ who is in us. Hello? I am trying to be quick because of time is not on our, on our side. And you see now, as we can see from the book of uh, Galatians. Can we go to the Galatians very quickly? Galatians chapter 2, verse. Uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. The Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the, in the flesh, I live, by, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. Hallelujah. The life that I live, the life that you live, my brother, my sister, hallelujah, it is through Christ who was crucified because of our sins. Amen. Wakati moja tulikuwa watu wamekataliwa, tulikuwa watu ambaya hawezi kupendeka. But when Christ died at the cross of Calvary, he carried our sins. Hallelujah. He carried our sins. He took away every iniquities and filth 
that was in us in order for you and me to be sons and daughters of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And having known that, it is your high time to allow Christ reign in your lives. It is our high time to understand the work which was done at the cross of Calvary. Remembering that one day when Christ will appear, we will appear together with him. Hallelujah. I want to tell you Christ is coming for his church. Soon and very soon, he's coming to rapture his church. Be ready for that. Allow Christ to be in your heart. Don't entangle your heart with our three things as we have read. But allow Christ reign in your life. In your business. In your family. Whatever you are doing. Allow Christ to be the king. Hallelujah. This is it's because that he gave himself for us. He died at the cross of Calvary. He was crucified for, because of us. And here we are. Testifying that we are alive in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Being in Christ... It makes you and me fit for heaven. Can I repeat it again? I being in Christ, it makes me fit for heaven. In another word, it qualifies me to be the citizen of heaven. There is no any other way Hallelujah. There is no any other way. But when we allow Christ to be in our lives, to be in our heart, hallelujah, that's when we qualify to be the citizens of heaven. Can we say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. It gives us that access it opens that door for us that we fit to be uh, citizens of heaven. And in another word, Christ in me or Christ in you, it makes me and you fit for this life. Do you get me? Hello? The first one I said, I in Christ makes me fit to heaven. Hello? Christ being in me makes me fit for this life. I want to tell you there is no life without Christ. Even if we own the whole world, without Christ, it is in vain. But we being in Christ, he makes things happen. All the riches of the world belongs to him. And when we are in him, hallelujah, now we have the access to the riches of God. Hallelujah. What does that. Tells you. That it is good to give our time. It is good to give our hearts. It is, 
uh, good to give everything that we have in honor of what God has done through his son, Jesus Christ. When we wake up in the morning, remember that Christ is in you and you in Christ. Hallelujah. And when Christ is in you, you are fit. You are blessed by this life of this world. Hello. And when you are in Christ, then you are a candidate for heaven. Hello. Praise the Lord. So we can say, God in Christ, Christ in God, and I in Christ. Hello? Do you get it? God in Christ, Christ in God, and Christ in me, and I in Christ. Hallelujah. He is the way to get us to, to, to get us to heaven. Amen. And for us to qualify to be in God, we have to go through Christ. And we have to allow him to be in us. Hello? Yeah, we allow him to be in us. And then we in him. And then he leads us to heaven. Hello? Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. That is how it is. God in Christ. Christ in God. And Christ in us. And we in Christ. Hello. To live the Christian life, as I have said, is to allow Jesus to have his way in your heart and allow him to live uh, his life in you. And through that, he's going to work uh, through you. He's going to show himself. The world will know Christ through you because he lives in you. Amen. Amen. And you remember, the, the word of God tells us that we are the lamb which is set up on a high mountain or a, on a high hill. And everything which is down there want to see that light. And for that we have to shine. We have to shine and show that Christ is living in us. Na kupitia kwa ushuhuda wa medomo yetu kama vile tulivyo ambiwa. Kwa sababu kristo anakada ni yetu na sisi tunakada ni yake. Basi, chochote ambacho kinatoka kwenye kinywa chako, kinamuonyesha kristo anayishi dani yako. Amen. I want to say this. Jesus lives in, in, in us because... He knew we could do we we, we 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 could not live without him. Amen. Do you know that? Yeah, God knew, and that's why he sent Christ Jesus. And that and then Jesus Christ uh, uh, gave his life for us because he knew without him we cannot live. Hakuna maisha bila nani? Bila Yesu. Hata ukiona kama umeenda sana, nataka ni kuambia hakuna maisha bila Yesu. Na wewe peke yako hawezi. You alone, without accepting Christ Jesus to be your savior uh, and to take control of your life, I want to tell you, you are nothing. Amen. You are nothing. Christ lives in us and it is the way 
he gets his work done. Amen. When Christ is in you, you remember when Jesus was, uh, uh, the words he spoke to his disciples uh, before he was, uh, he was taken to heaven. Amen. He told them, wait in Jerusalem and you will receive power. And after receiving power, you will be my witness. Starting from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and uttermost part of the world. Hallelujah. We cannot be good witness of Jesus Christ and the things that he, he did or he does if we don't allow him to work through us and we understand that he is in our souls, uh, in our hearts. Say amen. Hallelujah. So, in order for us to win this world, in order for us to win souls, those who are, are taken are captive by Satan, we have to allow Christ who died for us to do his work through us because we well know the mission that he came to accomplish in, his, in this world. And having received him as our savior, amen, now you are his, uh, his hand to reach the unreached. Amen. Amen. By the testimony of your mouth. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And for that reason, he wants a personal relationship with you. Yeah? Not a fellowship, but a relationship, a personal relationship with you. That means every step that you take, whether you are at, a, at your place of work, whether you are in your bed at night, you need to have a good relationship with your maker. You have to go, have a good relationship with Jesus Christ, who is your savior. And having that good relationship with him, he will work through you. He will work through me. And many, many people will come to know who Jesus is. Amen. Now, my responsibility or our responsibility is to admit our failures in life. Yeah. We have a lot of shortcomings in our life. Sometimes you stand, sometimes you fall. Hello? Ama tunaka unataka kutuseme hakuna wakati bwana anatutazama mahali aliacha tumesimama siku ya jumapili anakuta hauko mahali pale. Siku ya Friday ama Saturday. Amen. We have to accept and admit that we are failure. In order to allow the Holy Spirit of God to work in us. Amen. Hallelujah. And deal with uh, our wickedness. The second thing is when you admit, you confess. Amen. You admit and you confess. Hallelujah. And then, number three, you believe that Jesus is sufficient to meet every need in your life. Hello. Yeah. He's able. Yale mambo yanao kusumbua 
mizigo ambayo unasikia kama imekulemea amen kwake Yesu yanawezekana yale ambayo wakati mwingine inakufanya uhusiano wako na Mungu your personal relationship with God unakuta is no more take them to the Lord he is able haleluya atakubebea atakutwalia kwa sababu anasema nini jooni kwangu enyi mlio lemewa na mizigo mizito nami nitafanya nini nitaumiza amen haleluya so believe that jesus is sufficient to meet every need in your life and point number four, be willing to abandon your life to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Kubali maisha yako uyaachilie kwa Yesu. Hakuna jia nyingine maisha yangu ikiwa ndani ya Yesu kwa sababu tumesema Mungu ndani ya Kristo na Kristo ndani ya Mungu Arafu Kristo ndani yangu na mimi ndani ya Kristo. Sasa ni kusema misigo yangu yote iko ndani ya Kristo naye Kristo anaipeleka kwa baba. Amen. I have nothing to cry about. Amen. I have nothing to worry about because he is there for me. Amen. Christ is there for you, my brother. Christ is there for you, my sister. and take this message with you believe in Christ trust in him commit yourself in him baba katika jina takatifu la Yesu Kristo twalishukuru twalihimidi jina lako tunasema wewe ni Mungu na hakuna mwingine kama wewe twajiachilia mikononi mwako kwa sababu neno lako limetusungumza nasi ya kwamba wewe uko ndani yetu na sisi tuko ndani yako na tukiwa hivyo unatuwezesha kuingia ndani ya muumba wetu ambaye ni Mungu twakupa sifa twakupa shukurani bariki neno hili na wale ambao wamelisikia bwana utende mambo mema katika maisha yao na ni katika jina la Kristo Yesu tuomba na kuamini. Amen.